Are you helping to put this on? Or? Yes, I'm a writer for Nintendo Dream magazine. I am writing a, a Nintendo book. Mario to flash his trademark peace sign, but since he saw that I was an American, he tried to greet me as an American would. Yeah, Mario. But I wasn't the only person excited to see Mario. <laughs> Hidden in the throngs of people clamoring for Mario's autograph was this unassuming man. The creator of Virtual Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendogs. He came with one of his friends, the creator of Super Mario Kart. He also brought his wife, who I don't think works for Nintendo. The two of them ran into this guy who used to take photos of himself with celebrities wearing a Famitsu t-shirt. Then he got a Nintendo job. Nintendo made him stop. Okay, I just want to, to, to take my, my... The creator of Super Mario Kart and the creator of Nintendogs had a long talk while I was there. Of course, many secrets were shared. Many plans for future Nintendo games. The state of the industry itself was discussed. Miyamoto's phone number was exchanged. I could give you details, but then I'd have to kill you. These two Nintendo legends were friends with Gunpei Yokoi, Nintendo's most prolific designer and the creator of Nintendo's most successful product. At the last count, the Nintendo Game Boy and its successors, the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS, have sold approximately 70 gajillion units throughout the world. In Japan alone, every child has seven for every day of the week. I've seen pictures of them, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, you can find it in uh, Yahoo Auction. Very easy. That's it? That's wow. Amazing graphics. Yeah. They made a Zelda Game & Watch? Yes. So after they had the Famicom and they were making Zelda and Mario, they were still making Game yes. & Watch too? Yes, they but it was only for the, uh, for, uh, the foreign markets, America and Europe, not in Japan. Is that the same with the other, like Donkey Kong Jr. and other? Yes, it's a, it's a double screen. It's a double screen uh, Game & Watch, but uh, it has been released in uh, 94. That, that was released in 1994? Yes. They made a Game & Watch? In Japan, re Game & Watch market was already dead. Yeah, that's what I... Not in, in Europe. I had always America. thought that these were only made like in the 70s and then they, yes. they stopped. I didn't know that... Because Zelda came out in like 87 yes. or something. So. The first one is it's a ball here. It has been released in 80... Before designing Game & Watch and other video games, Gunpei Yokoi developed some hella random toys. Light telephone. And it's very impressive. The sound is very good. It transmits sound through light? Yes, from light. The first time I tried it, I couldn't believe it. The sound is very good. 1971. When you shoot from this one, there is a light going and uh, when you touch the heart of the gunman, the gunman will slow down. Uh, 
A vacuum. <laughs> you like that, don't you? Vacuum cleaner ain't no paints. There was nothing I could do. Some of this old stuff was bought on eBay. The rest of it was found in the back of old toy stores in Japan. The owners of the toy stores were happy to get rid of the old stock, not realizing the collector's value of the toys. NB game, but uh, it's about the rights of this game. But it wasn't a success because Japanese are too shy oh, they <laughs> to practice this kind of games. <laughs> Gunpei Yokoi was significant in the Famicom years when he designed Ra, Robotic Operating Buddy. It was one of the primary reasons that the NES took off in America. Is that a tape recorder? <laughs> yes. With this keyboard, you can program your own game and uh, to save them. When you this. save it onto the yes. tape recorder? Wow. It was made by you, Hudson. 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 Oh. Doc Hunt's ancestor. If you search around YouTube, you can find a video of this in action. Yokoi's life was cut short just a couple years after releasing his only failure. Before Gunpei Yokoi, before Mario and Donkey Kong, there was another Nintendo designer, Fusajiro Yamauchi, Nintendo's founder. He began his company with games, but not the games you might expect. Founded in 1889, Nintendo originally manufactured Hanafuda playing cards. And today, Nintendo is the only company still manufacturing Hanafuda cards in Japan. They're still sold in toy stores. I actually bought some in Tokyo a couple weeks ago. Beneath Nintendo's ancient headquarters building in Kyoto is the tomb of Fusajiro Yamauchi. Every month on the same day at the same hour, the chairman of Nintendo, Hiroshi Yamauchi, visits his ancestor's grave in the basement of the Nintendo building. Hiroshi Yamauchi is pretty much retired now, but he still lives in Kyoto, in the northern section, at the very top of the JR line. If you ever go looking for it, it's actually pretty easy to find. From Google Maps, if you just look at the area, you can find the house because it's the only one that still has a thatched roof in that neighborhood. It's also pretty large. Anyway, remember that's in Kyoto, not Osaka. That has nothing to do with the Nintendo Museum, except that it's about the Nintendo founder. Uh, these are some more playing cards. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about Nintendo, feel free to ask. I know a lot of random stuff, and people keep on sending me more information. So chances are, if you have a question that I can't answer now, I will be able to answer it in about two weeks. Incidentally, watch my other videos for a look at the inside of Nintendo's ancient headquarters. As far as I know, it's the only video that exists of that. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube account.